Welcome back to A320 Knowledge, your trusted source for Airbus expertise. Today, we're diving into engine compressor stalls and its QRH procedure. At the heart of a turbofan engine lies the compressor. It squeezes incoming air, increasing its pressure and temperature before feeding it into the combustion section. The compressor blades are designed to operate within a specific range of airflow. If the airflow entering the engine becomes too high or too low relative to the compressor's rotational speed, the blades can no longer efficiently push air through. This is where a compressor stall occurs. The airflow separates from the blades, causing turbulence and vibrations within the engine. When the blades of the engine compressor stall, they are no longer able to compress the air from the front to the rear of the engine. In some cases, there may be a breakdown of the airflow, with the high-pressure air at the end of the compressor reversing flow and exiting from the front of the engine. The consequences of a stall can range from a minor loss of engine thrust to a complete flameout, depending on the severity. Stalls are sometimes referred to as surges. Whilst they can occur simultaneously, there are some subtle differences. A stall is a disturbance of the flow in the tangential direction, i.e. from blade center to tip, while surge is a disturbance in the axial direction, i.e. along the length of the engine front to back. During stalled operation, the average flow rate through the compressor is steady, but during surge, the flow rate will pulse, sometimes so violently that reversed flow is induced. From the flight crew perspective, the engine stall is one of the most startling events at takeoff or during flight. The engine stall should not take the flight crew away from their primary task, that is to fly the aircraft. An engine stall can be due to any of the following reasons. An engine degradation, for example, a compressor blade rupture or high wear and tear. Ingestion of foreign objects such as birds or debris. Flying in icing conditions. A malfunction of the bleed system. A malfunction of the engine controls, for example, the fuel delivery mechanism or stall protection devices. A significant disturbance of the airflow. This could be due to wake turbulence or inappropriate use of the thrust reversers after landing or even due to a lightning strike. During high power setting scenarios, such as the takeoff and go around, the symptoms of an engine stall are the following. One or more very loud bangs, usually compared to a shotgun being fired a few meters away an instant loss of thrust, or even a reverse thrust that causes a yawing moment. Fluctuations of the engine parameters such as N1 or N2. An increase of the exhaust gas temperature, EGT. Abnormal engine vibrations. Visible flames from both the inlet and tailpipe ends of the engine. An acrid smell in the flight deck. During low power settings, scenarios such as the cruise or at the top of descent, the symptoms of an engine stall are the similar to that stated for the high power scenarios. However, the symptoms can sometimes be slightly more insidious. Banging noises from the engine can sound more muffled and less obvious. Also, the thrust lever response can be rather slow rather than an instant loss of thrust. Although these subtle symptoms can make it harder to identify a compressor stall, they tend to be in lower workload environments with time and altitude in your favor. Most of the FADEC on the A320 family have functions that are able to detect engine stalls, and by regulating the airflow through the compressor without flight crew action, will attempt to prevent and recover from an engine stall. When the FADEC detects an engine stall, the FADEC requests that the engine stall ECAM alert is triggered. The FADEC is not able to detect an engine stall in all cases. Therefore, if the flight crew detects one or a combination of the engine stall symptoms, the flight crew should suspect an engine stall and apply the QRH engine stall procedure. The engine stall procedure is not a memory item. Therefore, if a stall occurs, the flight crew shall take the time to assess the situation before applying the procedure, as most of the times the FADEC will self-recover from the stall before any flight crew action. The engine stall procedure. 
ECAM or QRH is as follows. On the ground, the procedure is straightforward and simply requires reducing the affected thrust lever to idle and switching the engine master off. In flight, the flight crew should prioritize the Airbus Golden Rules, fly, navigate, and communicate. When the flight crew has stabilized the aircraft trajectory and decided on a course of action, the QRH procedure guides us to reduce the thrust to idle on the affected engine. This action reduces the differential pressure across the compressor. This helps the engine airflow to become more stable. When at idle thrust, the flight crew checks the stability of the engine parameters on the EWD, and particularly the N1, EGT, and N2. The flight crew should also check the engine vibrations on the engine SD page. The flight crew shuts down the engine if the fluctuations of the engine parameters, or the high EGT, or the engine vibrations persist, or the symptoms of the engine stall persist at idle thrust. If the engine parameters are normal, the flight crew selects the wing anti-ice on in order to increase the bleed demand of the engine. This reduces the pressure at the exit of the compressor and helps the airflow to circulate in the engine turbine from front to rear. Then, the flight crew slowly advances the thrust levers as long as the engine stall does not occur again. The engine response may be slow at high altitude. If the engine stall reoccurs, the flight crew keeps the engine thrust below the stall threshold. The flight crew should not shut down the engine if the engine stall can be avoided. The flight crew should manually control the thrust on the affected engine between idle and the identified stall threshold for the remainder of the flight. If the engine stall does not reoccur, the flight crew can resume normal operation of the engine. The flight crew must report any engine stall for maintenance action. Thanks for tuning in to this bite-sized tutorial on the engine compressor stall. Thank you.